Pay attention, Brian. I'm going to show you how I get the diamond punch and I knock it out of the circular saws. You see that little outline of a diamond and you see that little sign that says do not knock out? Mama said knock it out. We're going to disregard the instructions. I'm going to show you what we do real quick. Easy way to do it without damaging the blade or hurting yourself. I just grab a half inch bolt or nut, make it contour to fit the lines, put it on a raised surface and give it a smack. Ready? Easiest way to do it without damaging the blade. Push that through, take that off. And the reason we're doing this, if you don't know, so look here, make sure you take your battery out if you're a chicken shit. All right, now, I'm gonna hit your, hit your brake. Remove this. Turn, loosen that up. These always thread the opposite direction, for those who don't know. Some tips are great for beginners. If you already know the tip, if you're such a pro, don't sweat it, bro. Pull that off. You see how we have the diamond punched out of that? So you can see here, that that's gotta go this way. So the blades, I picture it like the blades are, are running into the saw. And that way they're running up into the wood. Um, you know what I mean? They're running up into the wood. So the blades are spinning like this. Like that, right? That's how I remember it. So I know on a left-handed cutting saw, you gotta flip your blade upside down so you don't see the graphics. Uh, make sure you do that or you're gonna have a weird cutting experience. Unless you're cutting aluminum or thin sheet metal and you don't have a steel blade, that also works to pinch. Um, all right, so here we go. Pop that on there. Put this in the opposite direction of what you would normally, it's, it's a counter thread. Just get a little lefty tighty righty loosey on it. If we can get it in, what's going on there? All right. All right, you want to make sure you snug it up. There's a break you hit right here. On most saws, the break is around the same place. Come and look at that. You push that in with your thumb and it'll catch a gear. That'll break it so you have uh, torque. And also, framing hammers have those little nut drivers on the bottom so you can grab onto there and just uh, give that a good tighten. <sighs> Battery tins. There you go. All right, if you made it this far in the video, I know what you're thinking. I was referring to the teeth as blades the entire time and no one corrected me. I looked like an idiot. That's your job, Brian. You gotta say something next time. I was calling the teeth blades. I obviously meant teeth, but I hope this video helped. And if you're a newbie and this helped, that's great. If you already know, thanks buddy. Thanks for watching.